This is getting old. The way that you speak to me, never could decide how you wanted us to be. I never know when you're speaking sincerely. Why won't you show your intentions towards me? You think you know the answers to everything. Well, hello and welcome to another edition of the Stogie Review Video Review. I am Walt White, back once again for a video cigar review. And uh, well, I've <laughs> I had you know one of those days. Uh, last week I did the uh, La Flor Dominicana Cheroot, uh, which was a house blend for um, Hal Rubin of Empire Cigars. And uh, the next cigar up on the chopping block, chop, on, the, blah, 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 on the chopping block was the uh, Casilla Cigars uh, Zebra. Now, whether I can sort of trick my camera into focusing on this, I'm not quite sure. There we go. As you can see, there's a two-toned wrapper on there. It is a barber pole. And there you go. Uh, these cigars are made in uh, Nicaragua, I believe. Or you know what? Let's let's explain why I had one of those days. Well, it's Wednesday. Wednesday, Wednesday is usually my review day. Uh, it's usually the day I get the video taken care of and, and a partial write-up taken care of. And then Thursday I go back and uh, I edit the footage, I tweak the write-up, and then uh, produce the review. So, Wednesday rolls around, usually by 7 o'clock I want to have the, the video recorder on. I got tied up around the house and it's now almost 8 o'clock, I'm just now getting started. Uh, it's going to extend beyond where I want it to. But the, the real trouble was finding the cigar and finding the email that came along with the cigar and the paperwork that came with the cigar. Now, way back when I used to have uh, an excellent filing system. I had uh, uh, like uh, mailing address labels on cellophane to give me dates, uh, date purchased, you know, date went in my humidor, uh, track aging. I had everything segregated the way I wanted it within my four coolers. And uh, ever since like the Christmas contest where I had just a ton of stuff come in and I had to make room for it all and sort and, and, and move stuff back and forth, everything's been just completely discombobulated and uh, these cigars came in and they just sort of gotten tucked away now I could have swore I put them in one one of my coolers and I taped the the note that came with it to the bag of cigars so that I can keep track of it all well it, at some point in time the cigars must have been separated from the note because it, it took me almost an hour to, to finally find the cigars and then uh, to find the, the note that came with it. That came afterwards. And before I even could start looking for the cigar, I had to try to find the, the email that, uh, that came before the cigars were shipped to try to get some more information on the cigar. Now, unfortunately, there's not a whole lot of background information on it that I can give you. It seems that the website doesn't match uh, the information that I was given with this cigar. Now, the cigars are made by Casilla Cigars. And uh, they were sent to me by uh, Andrew, I believe, Adam, out of uh, Sacramento, California, where the, the shop is that makes these cigars. Now, at one point in time, these cigars were made um, in the United States. They're uh, produced, wrapped, all that good stuff uh, in California, from what I understand. Uh, since then, uh, the, uh, rolling has, has become much more expensive to do in the United States. So it was uh, sort of transitioned over to Nicaragua, and uh, the shipments come in once a month or something like that. So what I have is the Zebra Cigar. I'm not quite sure what the wrapper is. What I, actually, I have no idea what any of the tobacco makeup is, because uh, one, the Zebra Cigar is not listed on the website, which is uh, Casilla Cigars, I believe. There was also another website tied to the email. Uh, theroadnow.com, which uh, I don't, I'm not seeing any information on that either. So, uh, with uh, everything sort of being a mystery, let's uh, let's get the cigar underway. Um, the band, it's kind of hokey looking, uh, very simple, uh, very glossy, 
But uh, from what I understand, bands don't typically come on these cigars. They were they were put on these cigars uh, and then shipped to me just to, for presentation purposes. Also, uh, this came in a cellophane sleeve, which uh, is not characteristic of this cigar. So uh, we can ignore the band because it's not traditionally on this particular cigar. And uh, we'll just pop that off. Uh, so now I have pretty much what you would get if you bought the cigar online or uh, bought it in Sacramento. The two-tone wrapper looks pretty good. Both both leaves are fairly dark in color. So there's not a it doesn't pop. You know, it doesn't really stand out sort of like the the Connecticut shade and the and the uh, Connecticut broadleaf Maduro would where you have uh, con contrasting colors. They they're both uh, a fairly dark brown uh, the the darker brown obviously sort of popping a little bit more. Uh, there's one sunspot on the entire cigar. Uh, there's one heavy leaf on the back side of the cigar in one spot. And aside from that, it looks pretty good. Uh, the veins don't look big and bulging or anything. They, they, there's a, a little bit of a texture to it because of this one vein on the back side. Uh, looking at the wrapper, it appears to be a little on the dry side. Uh, pinching it. It's, it feels a little soft, and this is actually much better than it was when I got it. When I first received these, I was really concerned because uh, I don't know whether they picked up a lot of humidity on the way out or, or what the case may have been or whether they were fresh off the rolling table, but uh, they were kind of spongy. They seemed really overhumidified, and um, having them sit in my humidor for several weeks seems to have cured that sponginess, and uh, they feel... Uh, Pretty good, actually. A little soft, but uh, not too bad. Uh, I opened up the head. Uh, the pre-light draw is a little on the sweet side. Uh, it's kind of like a mild fruit flavor, actually. Yeah, there's uh, a little bit of resistance. Uh, and uh, so far, so good. Uh, so, let's go ahead and get started. So I got these cigars back in, um, I think I received them in mid-December. So I've been sitting a little while, and it should show you just how backed up I am with these reviews. So if I owe you a review and you're, and you're watching this one, I apologize. I'm, I'm catching up as best I can. Uh, I just couldn't help the delay. I, you know, I got sick, and obviously you, you may be aware of that from uh, the posts on the website and whatnot. But... Uh, trying to catch up as best I can. The smoke is uh, that the, the little bit of resistance that's on the draw seems to get seems to get telegraphed through the cigar. Uh, it, it seems a little difficult to get smoke through it. Uh, there's a little bit of flavor there. I'm not really sure what it is at this point. Uh, it's very mild, uh, a little sweet, and uh, that about does it. So uh, I'm going to take a quick break, get into the cigar a little bit. I'll be back. We'll get started in the first third of the Casilla Cigar Zebra, and now uh, we'll see how this uh, boutique brand goes. Welcome back. I am still uh, plugging away on my Casilla cigars. Uh, zebra. I that to focus or not. Uh, at any rate, I'm uh, about 30 minutes into the cigar now, and uh, it's burning pretty well. Um, you know, sometimes I get a little concerned with these uh, these uh, Dos Capa cigars because. I'm afraid they're going to burn a little funky because you've, you've got two different uh, tobacco leaves that are, are going to burn a little differently. And even though they, they're overlapped, so you're really burning both leaves at the same time, 
I always think that one's going to be a little slower than, than the other and you're just going to get some kind of funky burn going. But uh, lo and behold, this one's going pretty well. Uh, ash is fairly light in color. Uh, it's weak. Uh, probably less than three quarters of an inch and it I wound up with a, an ash down the front of my shirt. Uh, after that, I uh, let, the, let the ash grow a little bit and it really took no effort at all to knock it off the cigar. Uh, draws a little firm for my liking. Uh, finish is sort of middle of the road. Uh, it's not what I would consider creamy and it's not what I would consider dry. It's just... It, it just is. <laughs> it's, it's finish, I guess. The body is very mild. Uh, there's almost no weight or, or texture uh, lingering and sort of lingering in the mouth is, and that's generally what I consider to be the body, you know, how, how heavy does it feel? And uh, this is just very mild, very light. And um, as far as the flavor is concerned, I really, I'm at a loss for words. I'm not quite sure what to, to say because I really can't taste anything. Uh, it's just so mild that uh, I'm finding it difficult to, to pick anything out of it. Um, at times, I think I taste the same sort of uh, mild fruity flavor that I was getting out of the, the cold draw and at other times I, th I think I'm getting uh, a woody flavor out of it along the lines of cedar and then sort of out of the blue I'll get uh, a definite sort of salty flavor and then that'll go away and then I'm in this position where I'm not quite sure what I'm tasting because it's it's just so mild um, I'm, just, I'm having difficulty enjoying the cigar at this point just because I can't taste anything. It, I mean, it tastes like I'm uh, smoking air. Uh, I'm just not getting any flavor out of the cigar, and it's kind of it's upsetting because it's got a nice room aroma to it. It smells nice, and uh, it's burning well, but I just can't taste anything. So I'm going to cross my fingers and hope that... Uh, the cigar develops a little more flavor as I go along. I'm going to take another uh, quick production break. I'll be back, do the second third of the cigar, and uh, see where it goes from there. So sit tight. I'm back and it's been well, actually it's been an hour and ten minutes now. And uh, I'm progressing along. I'm about well, about three quarters of the way through the second third of my cigar. That sounds confusing, doesn't it? Three quarters of the second third. But uh, all in all, cigar is burning well. Uh, the ash is is getting a little darker, it's still weak. Uh, aside from being weak, it's compacted, it holds its shape well. Uh, burn line is thin, it's a little wavy at this point. Uh, again, it's it's not bad, but uh, it's a little wavy. Uh, draws a little firm for my liking. Uh, smoke volume is a little lacking. Uh, it's not quite as dense as I would like either. Um, room room is great, it smells uh, very appealing, but uh, you know back, the problem comes back to the flavor. I, I just can't taste anything, and uh, oddly enough, the, the smoke is a little aggressive, and you know I'm, I'm getting sort of a tingling across the tongue, but I, I'm not getting any defined flavors out of it, and uh, it, it actually makes for sort of a frustrating uh, smoking experience because I'm having a lot of difficulty picking things out of the cigar, which are typically not a problem. Uh, it's just extremely mild and it's probably the most mild, the mildest cigar I've ever had or, or at least the mildest cigar I've had in the last 12 months. Uh, it's, it's, it's almost borderline tasteless. Uh, it's, it's very difficult for me to pick anything out of the cigar. Uh, you know, I, I'm struggling and at times I can taste things. Uh, I'm getting a mild fruity flavor that, that certainly reminds me of apples. Uh, there's a mild woody flavor that it sort of reminds me of cedar. And on the, 
on the rare occasion I'm getting sort of a salty flavor. So there's definitely flavor there, it's just very difficult for me to pick it out. Um, I don't know whether it's just I'm smoking it too late in the day, or I judged the cigar wrong, I looked at it and I thought it was going to be a little more full body than it was. Now this isn't my first one, I've had uh, two others before this, both of which were mild, but this is by far the, the most mild I remember it being. And uh, I, I didn't have a very heavy dinner and it, it wasn't, uh, you know, like uh, ten minutes ago, it, it was a few hours ago. And uh, I, I, I'm just, I'm dumbfounded. I don't know what to say about the cigar because I, I really, I'm, I'm struggling that much to taste anything out of it. It's, it's very, very mild. Uh, finish is sort of middle of the road. There's really nothing going on there. It's not dry, it's not creamy. Uh, it's leaving very little texture. And uh, the body is just mild. It, it just hasn't gone anywhere. It's, it, it hit a tiny little hump in the beginning where it became mild and it's been a plateau ever since. Uh, just nothing new. So uh, I don't want to ramble on and on about a, about it, the, the cigar but simply because I can't taste it. So uh, with that said, I'm going to take another break. I'll be back. I don't know how much further I'm going to get into the cigar. I, I'm, I'm certainly not going to smoke it down uh, as, as short as I normally do. I'm beginning to get a mild headache. I don't know whether that's from, from just uh, focusing on the cigar too much the draw being a little tight, just a, a variety of factors, or if there's a, if there's a, just a touch of ammonia in it because uh, you know I'm getting a little bit of an aggressive t uh, sensation on the tongue in the back of the throat, so, so maybe that's uh, what the mild headaches from. But uh, all in all, I'm, j I'm just struggling through this cigar. So <laughs> at any rate, uh, I'm going to take another break. So uh, sit tight. I'll be back. We'll do the final third and wrap this up. Well, welcome back. It's uh, been an hour and a half now. I'm still plugging along on my uh, Casilla Cigars Zebra. And uh, I gotta say, I'm kind of delaying the inevitable here. Uh, Cigar spent more time throughout this last third in the ashtray than it has in my hand. Um, I'm just not enjoying it, and I'm, I'm just sort of straying away from it. Uh, every once in a while, I'll pick it up, I'll hit it with a torch to, to get it you know, burning properly again, and I'll, I'll take a, a couple of puffs on it, and and then as soon as I do, it goes back down the ashtray until it goes out again, and a few minutes later, I'll, I'll pick it up again. Uh, I'm getting a mild headache. The I'm not liking this this sort of aggressive smoke. It it's very heavy, sort of on the back side of the tongue, uh, a little bit in the back of the throat. Uh, body is mild. Finish is still sort of right down the middle. It's not dry, it's not creamy. Uh, flavor is, you know, it's incredibly mild. Very, very mild. Uh, you know, there are some interesting parts to the flavor. You know, like uh, I had mentioned in the last third that I, I, I tasted a mild fruity flavor that reminded me of apples. You know, that was very interesting. But it, it, it took so much work to, or so much just focus to, to sort of taste that that it wasn't much fun. Uh, you know, the cedar flavor was nice as well, but again, it was so mild that it, it was difficult to taste it. And then, you know, it, once you did taste it, it was it was like it wasn't enough of a reward. You know, it was enjoyable, but it just wasn't nearly enough, uh, or you know, for whatever reason, it just didn't seem like uh, the kind of reward I would I would appreciate for for spending so much. Uh, time and energy on the cigar. Uh, you know, aside from that, there really wasn't any other flavors that I was picking up. And even those were sort of few and far between. It was it was sort of like a subtle hint, or a tease, and then it would go away, and then come back a little bit later. But for the most part, it was, you know, it was, I couldn't taste anything. So, uh, so it's safe to say I didn't care for this cigar. 
Uh, the burning characteristics were good, aside from the loose ash, it, it burned very well. Uh, the ash, the, uh, the, the formation of the ash, the way it was compacted, looked good. Uh, it was consistently filled throughout, the draw was consistent, uh, the body was consistent. So the cigar was very consistent, it just wasn't uh, up to my standards as far as uh, flavor depth or, or flavor abundance goes. And uh, it was just too mild for my liking. Uh, this cigar may be much better with coffee in the morning, although I'd be a little concerned that the coffee might wash out uh, some of the enjoyable flavors in the stick. Uh, you know, like that, that sort of an apple flavor would probably get washed away in no time with uh, a strong cup of coffee. So uh, I'm, I'm sort of not sure where this cigar would fit in my day. It, most likely not really anywhere at all. Uh, so, you know. I didn't enjoy it. Uh, it was a solid the cigar. Was put together well. It was uh, solid as far as construction goes. But again, just didn't care for the flavor. And uh, it, you know, it's just been sitting in the ashtray far too long. It's I'm not into the cigar. I don't want to smoke it further and, and, and try to force it. Um, it is what it is, and uh, I just didn't like it. So until next week, uh, I'm going to be smoking. You know, I, I should probably write these things down. I don't remember the name of the cigar I'll be smoking. Um, I do know that it's also a boutique cigar. And, um, wow, I can't think of it. It's made by Camacho Cigars. I'll try to uh, try to remember to post a comment on the end of this review so that you'll know for next week. But uh, that's the plan. So uh, until next week, happy smoking.